What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the My Gardener channel. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about a good bug that sounds like it's more from Harry Potter than it does from the garden. And it's the Ancarsia formosa. Let's go. Bad bugs, bad bug, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad bugs, bad bug. So when it comes to the Ancarsia formosa, they are known as the white fly destroyer and that's because they hone in on white flies specifically. They are a parasitic wasp and we talked about lots of other parasitic wasps on this channel for our good bug series. You have uh, many, many different kinds from ones that will attack caterpillars to others that will attack things like you know, house flies to these ones attack white fly and they specifically hone in on white fly as their host, making them a parasitic wasp. Now, what makes white flies incredibly uh, troubling in the garden is the fact that they're very difficult to eradicate with things like sprays. Now, they will, uh, they will still feed on the juices inside the leaves, like in the case of our zucchinis here, zucchinis, squash, cucumbers are very prone to white fly, and you'll typically find white fly to be on the undersides of leaves, but you don't even really know they're there because of how small they are. And the only time you really know is when you give them a little tap tap on the leaves and all of a sudden you have the little flies that seem to just flutter up and they almost look like dust kind of floating upwards. It's so hard to actually notice what they look like, but I'll try to post a picture, I'll Taylor post a picture of what a white fly looks like because you almost can't even tell that they're there. They're smaller than a fleck of pepper and they just kind of flutter around. So. Um, controlling them is really challenging. So when it comes to a beneficial insect, this is one that you wanna to turn towards. Now these are great not only in the garden, but also in an enclosed environment like a greenhouse. They come from Nature's Good Guys, who's our partner for today's episode. Um, not a sponsored episode, just we're really partnering together and, and kind of uh, collaborating to encourage more beneficial insects in the garden and using them rather than turning to harmful uh, insecticides in the garden. And so because we're promoting organic gardening, um, I really wanna get this out there. And uh, Nature's Good Guys supplies basically these cards and these cards contain the Encarcia formosa and they will basically allow you to attach them to surfaces like this tree here, really close proximity to our squash plants or you could put them in a greenhouse or wherever you have a problem. And then once they hatch, they're gonna fly out, they're gonna find their host, they're gonna sting the host and basically use the eggs to basically survive inside the host as a food source. And then once they uh, consume the host, they will then pupate, turn into a larvae, and then basically just uh, they'll hatch out as an adult and the life cycle will happen all over again. So the thing I love about the Incarcia formosa is the fact that these actually affect white flies and really white flies only. Now, what makes white flies so formidable in the garden is the fact that they're really hard to control. You hardly even know that they're there because sometimes you might uh, look at a plant, it looks a little wilted, you don't think much of it, give it some water, and you notice a little, little fluff of white stuff kind of just fly away. Well, yeah, it could be anything. I mean, it could be dandelion fluff, it could be dust, it could be debris. You really don't even notice that it's there because of how small they are. But what you notice is the wilting leaves. And you constantly come back to it and you say, well, I've been watering so frequently, but it's not really fixing it. That's when, when you water it and you constantly see those little white, that little white flutter of, uh, of debris, that debris is actually a small, teeny tiny little insect known as the white fly. And they actually will lay eggs underneath the, the leaf of large leaf plants. Now, they can affect lots of different plants, but they do affect things like squash, cucumbers, a lot of plants in the cucurbita family. And basically uh, what they do is they suck the juices from the leaves and use the juices to basically grow and to pupate into an adult. And so once they are an adult, they can fly. And that's what makes them so difficult is the fact they can be here, they can be there, they can be anywhere. And so what's really great about these is the fact that they actually use the white fly as a host. And that means that they are gonna be basically attracted to specifically the white fly, hone in the white fly and nothing else. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these dormant egg cards. Now, these egg cards are great. I love them from Nature's Good Guys because basically they allow you to hang them in a really convenient location in a troubled area or near a troubled area so that essentially as soon as those eggs hatch, the adults are ready to go, ready to find their host. So we're gonna take these and you wanna put them down low. That's because once they hatch, they like to fly up. And so it's best to put them at or near the, uh, the point of a problem. Now you don't want them right on the ground because obviously you could put them 
right on the ground here, but if they get wet and stuff like that, you're gonna have kind of a poor survival rate. So it's best to kind of hang them up where they're gonna be kind of good airflow and off the ground. But we do have some white fly on some of these, uh, on some of these uh, um, squash plants, these zucchini plants here. And so I'm gonna put them right near these plants. And again, I think it's kind of a common theme here that we talk about where a lot of you watch this channel and think, well, his garden looks beautiful. How could he possibly have pest problems? It's been a really crazy year and crazy years bring about stress and stressed plants are actually, they attract the bad bugs to the garden. So even though we've been doing this for uh, 14 years or so, <laughs> 13 years, it's been a long time since we've been on YouTube. It's been probably the worst gardening season in terms of growing conditions that I can recall. So um, using these good bugs to our advantage to help bring in that good bug, bad bug balance in the garden is critical and really important. So um, I got some white fly. I saw some white fly in this plant um, when, I was, when I was just doing my, my weekly kind of garden checkup. And uh, so it's gonna be great to put these to work and to find a good host to hopefully kind of keep those white fly in check. But uh, as far as you know, survivability and stuff like that goes, you're really not having to do very much to keep them alive because again, they're gonna lay eggs in a host. Once they hatch, their life expectancy is so short because they're just simply trying to find a host to lay eggs in it again because they're a parasitic wasp and that's their job. So you don't need to plant any specific flowers, put out any water, give them any food source. The food source is the pest and the pest only. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was shorter, but um, again, I wanna thank Nature's Good Guys. I'll have links to all their products in the description box down below. Again, this is not a sponsored video, but it's just a collaboration to encourage people to know the good bugs that help you out in the garden. Because when you look at a beautiful garden, Sometimes there's a lot of bugs doing some pretty heavy lifting that go unnoticed and, uh, and underappreciated. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, we'll catch you all on the next episode. All right, take care everyone, grow bigger.